Hello everyone. Welcome to this series of lectures on CBC interpretation. In this lecture, we will discuss how to go about the hemoglobin abnormalities. So, when we'll see hemoglobin high or low in our OPD, so how in a systematic manner we should uh, approach the analysis of these findings to make correct diagnosis. Starting with the normal hemoglobin range, normal hemoglobin in males 13 to 16 and in females it is 12 to 15. Though different textbooks, different guidelines uh, might give you uh, different ranges. Whenever a patient of low hemoglobin comes to us, next step will be we should look for the MCV, mean corpuscular volume. Uh, normal range is 80 to 95 FL and if it is low, it is a microcytic anemia. If it is high, it is macrocytic anemia and if it is normal, then it is normocytic picture. Uh, if MCV is low, uh, less than 80, then we will check the RDW in the CBC or uh, one index uh, which is uh, uh, known as the Menzer index and uh, this will be uh, low in cases of uh, this low MCV uh, will be iron deficiency or thalassemia or other cause can be sideroblastic. I have not taken sideroblastic here because it is uh, slightly uh, rare in uh, our OPDs. So, uh, when we check for the RDW or this uh, index, uh, uh, if they are high, it is going in favor of iron deficiency and if they are low, it is thalassemia. So, uh, red cell distribution width, uh, say if it is more than 15, we take a round value, iron deficiency anemia. If uh, Menzer index, uh, which is uh, the index uh, MCV divided by RBCs is uh, more than 14 goes in favor of iron deficiency, less than uh, 14 is thalassemia. Some uh, lab says 13 value as the cutoff for iron deficiency and thalassemia. But grossly we can say ki if it is more then it is iron deficiency and if it is less it is uh, thalassemia. Uh, now if uh, uh, MCV is high, uh, if there are uh, neuropathic symptoms B12 deficiency or no neuropathic features then folic acid deficiency. Normocytic will be CKD or aplastic uh, anemias. So, starting with this uh, uh, patient uh, uh, clinical profile or the CBC. So, when we check the uh, hemoglobin, hemoglobin was 5.8, uh, definitely it is on a lower side. So, what you have to see, uh, after seeing the hemoglobin, number one step, then you should check the MCV value. So, where is the MCV? MCV is 72. Second, uh, second step will be check for the MCV. So, MCV is low here. The uh, It is given as 80 to, 83 to 101, but uh, as a round figure, we take 80 to 95 as the normal uh, limit. So, it depends on uh, lab to lab uh, reference range. So, it is a case of a low MCV and when the low MCV is there, we have to think of iron deficiency or thalassemia as a common uh, disorders in the OPD. So, what we do, we either check for a red cell distribution width. So, here the red cell distribution width is 16.2, 16.2. So, uh, this is coming to be on a higher side. So, as I said, it was uh, more than 15 and this lab says it is uh, till 14 as the normal RDW. So, definitely it is high RDWs goes in favor of uh, iron deficiency. Also, we will calculate the uh, Menzer index and here uh, they have taken the 14 as the limit. Less than 14 is uh, beta thalassemia, more than 14 is uh, iron deficiency. So, uh, when we uh, take MCV and divide that by the RBC count, uh, RBC count uh, here in this, uh, yes, 2.73. So, uh, MCV is 72.4 divided by 2.73. Uh, it came out to be uh, 27. So, this is the fourth step that we will check for. Uh, clear cut, it is more than 14. Our diagnosis, patient is suffering from iron deficiency here. So, it is a clear cut case of a iron deficiency. Now, moving on to the next one. Uh, in the same fa fashion, uh, hemoglobin is 11.3. Uh, next step will be check for the MCV. So, number one is this and I will check for the MCV 76.7. So, this is on a lower side. So, what I will do, I will either check for RDW, RDW here is 18.3, this is on a higher side and what about the index uh, that is uh, MCV divided by RBC, 16.67, uh, so this is more than 14. Uh, again, it 
is iron deficiency let's see uh, if patient is able to afford the further investigation then we can advise for the further investigation and in this patient uh, we go for the iron study so you can see here uh, our uh, cbc interpretation is proving that there is a iron deficiency uh, serum iron is low uh, total iron binding capacity is high which occur in the iron deficiency and even saturation is also uh, low 6.9 again going in favor of iron deficiency see uh, moving on to the next one hemoglobin is 10.4 uh, look at the MCV. MCV is low, 63.4. Uh, then what we'll see, we look for the um, uh, RDW. RDW though is 16, but uh, that index, Menzer index is 11.96. So there is a slightly mismatch between these two findings. So if you are finding any mismatch between these two, my advice is go for this index uh, for the accurate diagnosis, whether it is iron deficiency or thalassemia. Uh, so let's see uh, if. Uh, uh, we have done the uh, iron studies yes in this patient iron studies was done and you can see iron uh, stores are 120 iron serum iron is 128 and uh, uh, tibc is uh, almost within the range and transferrin saturation is also normal so tibc is normal and uh, iron is also normal it is going in favor of thalassemia so it's a case of thalassemia and uh, uh, if patient is able to afford then we can advise the patient for the uh, hemoglobin uh, studies or hemoglobin electrophoresis uh, moving on to the next one uh, hemoglobin is 7.9 here and uh, mcv mcv is 69 uh, when we go for the uh, menzer index so menzer index is not uh, uh, done here uh, but we can divide 69 by uh, 3.8 so when we divide it and uh, you can calculate here ki what will be the uh, picture here whether it is less than 14 or more than 14 so when we did the iron profile iron profile was low and uh, percentage saturation was low so this is a case of a iron deficiency in this patient so most likely the uh, menzer index here will came out to be more than 14 uh, one more case 10.1 uh, is the hemoglobin look at the hemoglobin and then look at the mcv mcv is low and uh, red cell distribution is given here so 18.6 uh, so this is going in favor of a uh, iron deficiency in the same patient when we did the uh, iron studies so here you can see hemoglobin is 10.1 and uh, mcv is 17.5 which is low and we look at the rdw rdw is 18.6 which is on a higher side so most likely it is a case of a iron deficiency also when we uh, uh, go for the menzer index so it is 75.4 uh, divided by 4 so if you uh, divide this by 4 it will most likely be coming out to be uh, more than uh, 14 more than 14 and uh, rdw is 18.6 and when we did the iron study so you can see iron studies uh, and serum ferritin is low here it is a case of a uh, iron deficiency anemia uh, hemoglobin is 8.7 mcv is 16.1 and when we go for the menzer index it is 13.64 so most likely it is uh, the case of uh, so uh, it is a case of uh, th might be looking key it is a case of a uh, um, thalassemia but uh, when we uh, check the iron studies so it came out to be iron studies are low and percentage saturation is low so sometime uh, these uh, index um, uh, might not give you the exact picture but if uh, iron studies are available the reliable method will be go for the iron study maybe this patient is having the iron deficiency more than the uh, thalassemia that can be a possibility in this case so it is not key every cbc will follow the rule this is one of the uh, example now uh, hemoglobin is 8.9 and uh, when we did the mcv is 69 uh, what about the uh, uh, rdw rdw is 20 so you look here the rdw is grossly high uh, most likely it will be iron deficiency and when the hemoglobin uh, studies were done electrophoresis was done that came out to be normal so this is uh, uh, the ferritin level of the patient 3.9 so iron deficiency 
uh, 10.4 is the hemoglobin and when we did the mcv is 71.3 and uh, when the menzer index is calculated 15 so most likely it is a iron deficiency and rdw is high 17.2 all right so this one more clinical case hemoglobin is very low this is a 7 and uh, here the mcv done is 56 very very low uh, so the rdw was 17.5 which is on a higher side and uh, hb studies hemoglobin electrophoresis were done but there is no hb variant so again prove that it is a case of a iron deficiency coming to when the mcv is high so when the mcv is high uh, for example uh, hemoglobin is 13.5 but you can see mcv is 120 so this is grossly a megaloblastic anemia megaloblastic anemia uh, though hemoglobin is still within the range but patient is having high mcv uh, patient might be having a b12 deficiency uh, next one hemoglobin is 10 and uh, mcv here is 108 so again uh, b12 deficiency or folic acid deficiency will be there and look at the platelet count so when you see platelet count is on a lower side uh, or when you see bicytopenia or pancytopenia along with the high mcv always think of b12 deficiency because b12 deficiency can cause this type of pancytopenia picture or bicytopenia picture as well uh, in this uh, uh, mcv is 103 uh, hemoglobin is uh, still uh, within the range but when we go for the b12 study so you can see b12 is grossly low less than 50 uh, this is a case of a, a b12 deficiency leading to the high mcv now uh, coming to the uh, high hemoglobins so whenever there is a high hemoglobin always think whether it is relative or true uh, meaning of the relative is say this is the uh, blood vessel uh, here are the rbcs in the blood vessel and here is the plasma so when there is a plasma leak or uh, water leak so plasma uh, deficiency or water deficiency is there so what will happen ki rbc concentration will become high and rbc concentration is high hemoglobin will be high by the uh, lab methods so this is known as a relative uh, erythrocytosis because of the loss of the water from the body so uh, examples are like dehydration or diuretics so always always rule out whether patient is drinking less water patient is taking diuretic before uh, subjecting the patient to unnecessary investigations and this happens so many times you ask the patient to increase the water intake repeat the cbc after two weeks cbc came out to be normal hemoglobin normalized or it can be a true hemoglobin true hemoglobin high hemoglobin means the rbc mass is high so it can be a primary cause primary means bone marrow related causes uh, that means key polycythemia or it could be secondary secondary means key it is due to increase erythropoietin so increase is erythropoietin uh, can be due to uh, hypoxia low oxygen in the body or it can be because of the uh, tumors or some kidney cyst which are producing the uh, erythropoietin or maybe some uh, hormones like uh, testosterone intake like uh, gender dysphoria patients uh, female to male they take testosterone supplement so that can increase the erythropoietin and their hemoglobin can be high so this is how we should approach a case of a high hemoglobin or causes of high hemoglobin now the approach so number one approach is always take the history rule out the dehydration and diuretic use if it is there repeat uh, in two weeks time uh, then if patient is smoker yes uh, smoking is one of the cause which uh, leads to high hemoglobin and this is most likely because of the carbon monoxide hemoglobin which is there so that is a high affinity hemoglobin indeed this leads to a type of a tissue hypoxia which cause high erythropoietin and high hemoglobin so repeat the cbc after the cessation this might take maybe one month for the test to normalize uh, if uh, smoking is not there check for the oxygen saturation if oxygen saturation is low and this will be arterial oxygen saturation so it is uh, secondary erythrocytosis due to hypoxia if oxygen saturation is normal so this is uh, here like this if oxygen saturation is normal then check the erythropoietin levels if the erythropoietin levels are high so that means ki there is a source of the high erythropoietin maybe a tumor uh, like hemangioblastoma hepatoma renal cell cancers or it could be polycystic autosomal polycystic kidney disease or it can be ex uh, exogenous intake of testosterone or anabolic steroids like that 
एंड इफ इरिथ्रोपोटिन इज लो दैट मीन्स की बोन मेरो इज प्रोड्यूसिंग मोर आरबीसी सो दैट इज बाई फीडबैक इनिबिटिंग द इरिथ्रोपोटिन लेवल्स सो दिस इज अ सिंप्लीफाइड फ्लो चार्ट टू डायग्नोज अ केस ऑफ हाई हिमोग्लोबिन नाउ Uh, according to the textbook, they say कि if the RBC mass is high, then it is a case of a true erythrocytosis. But getting the RBC mass uh, needs uh, special uh, high specialty centers. Uh, that that is a radio isotope method. But a simple method is if hematocrit is more than 60 in males and more than 50 in females. consider that as due to high rbc mass. So hematocrit or PCV will become useful there in a primary health center. So. पेशेंट है एच बी ऑफ सिक्सटीन पॉइंट एट सो दिस इज ऑन अ स्लाइटली हायर साइड लुक एट द पी सी वी पी सी वी इज ऑल्सो ऑन अ हायर साइड आर बी सीज आर फाइव पॉइंट सिक्स सो वॉट वी हैव टू डू वी हैव टू टेक अ हिस्ट्री ऑफ वॉटर इनटेक हेयर सो हिस्ट्री ऑफ वॉटर इनटेक हैज टू बी असेस्ड वी हैव टू टेक द हिस्ट्री ऑफ स्मोकिंग if it is present then we have to correct that this patient was indeed taking less of water intake and uh, we repeat the test after uh, increasing the fluid intake uh, uh, two weeks later the uh, reports came out to be almost normal uh, in this patient 16.2 is the hemoglobin uh, patient is uh, female and uh, patient uh, biologically female patient is on testosterone testosterone for the female to male gender dysphoria and uh, here the uh, pcv is 49 not that much increased uh, but uh, tlc is high so testosterone also increases the tlc count uh, so for this patient uh, what we did we asked if uh, uh, she is smoking we uh, tell her, we told her to stop smoking increase the water intake and uh, uh, withhold the testosterone for uh, one month and then we repeat the test after that uh, hemoglobin came out to be within normal range and then we restarted the testosterone but in a lower dose uh in this patient uh, hb is 17.3 uh, male patient uh, rbc counts are high and you can see the hematocrit all is also on a higher side so when we reassess the history uh, the uh, history patient was uh, taking uh, steroids uh, anabolic uh, steroid maybe for body building we asked the patient to stop taper the steroid and stop the steroid uh, after that patient uh, hemoglobin profile uh, improved now this is self assessment for you uh, this is case number 1 uh, so you look at the profile and tell me in the comment section what is the cause of this most likely cause of this uh, uh, low hemoglobin uh, of the patient look at the hemoglobin i will give you the hand look, look at the hemoglobin look at the pcv and uh, cal uh, look at the rbc count uh, so this is the rbc count uh, so what you do you check the uh, mcv and divide that by the uh, rbc bc count so this will came out to be menzer index uh, if it is le uh, less than 14 then it is thalassemia and if it is more than uh, 14 that most likely iron deficiency so this you have to calculate and tell me in the comment section the second case is hemoglobin is 18.41 uh, uh, is the hemoglobin patient is male uh, you assess the pcv value and uh, uh, what all this is case number 2 case number 2 so uh, what all in the history you will uh, assess and the history of the patient was uh, patient uh, was a heavy smoker so what will be your advice and after how many uh, time period you should uh, repeat the uh, cbc count so these were the cases ki how to go about the interpretation of these cbc finding so if you want to share your experience if you have uh, seen any such type of patient in your opd do share and also uh, share ki how you manage those cases thank you all of you